So for those of you who are questioning, why did this happen? Why this destruction? Why the death? Why the annihilation of the land? Well, that's something that we might not ever find out, but what we need to focus on is what we can do from here. How can we give back to our planet? How can we help the animals? How can we help our people? How can we rebuild from here? And how can we move forward? It is Sanaya, and I'm back on Live Life by Design. So for today's episode, I'm dedicating the entire episode to what's happening in the Philippines with the eruption of Taal Volcano. As most of you know, we are living in conditions where the air we breathe is completely uh, been infiltrated by the ash that has come out of the volcano. People everywhere are talking about what's been happening. And of course, more than uh, 16,000 people have been displaced. Now the interesting thing about the volcanic eruption is it's really a combination of the earth element and the fire element together that has, um, that has suffered or created a lot of destruction um, in, in parts of the Philippines. Now the fire element is really about rising from the ashes, like the phoenix that rises from the ashes. It is about destruction. It is about the end of the, uh, the old and the bringing in of the new. Uh, fire does destroy and can often rage out of control, but fire, when managed well, can actually bring in a new beginning. Uh, we also have plenty of the earth element because, of course, the volcano is made of earth, and all the ash that has gone up into our air um, because of the eruption is, um, is of the element Earth. Earth is about grounding, about balance. So we do need to look at uh, balancing those energies of fire and Earth. In terms of Earth, we need to really make sure we are balanced as people, that we are grounded and that we are keeping our priorities straight, that we are respecting our soil, our crops, and that we're really keeping ourselves in harmony with the Earth element. In terms of the fire, I do believe that perhaps there's a lot of like negative energy that people are holding inside of them and also probably a lot of anger, a lot of um, sort of eruptions that are going on in people's lives individually. And so what we're seeing is that this is being mirrored in nature with, you know, a volcanic eruption or fires raging out of control. I mean, we're looking at a lot of destruction. Mother Nature is good on her own. Mother in nature can handle anything, can revive, can rejuvenate, can be born again in so many different ways. But we as people, we are the ones who really have to recover. We are the ones who have to start afresh. We have to start anew and we have to get something, get some lesson or some understanding about our relationship with our planet, with nature, with the earth that needs to come out of it so that we can understand how to move on from here in a better way. So for those of you who are questioning, why did this happen? You know, why this destruction? Why the death? Why the annihilation of, uh, of the land? Well, that's something that we might not ever find out, but what we need to focus on is what we can do from here. How can we give back to our planet? How can we help the animals? How can we help our people? How can we rebuild from here? And how can we move forward? So please join me as I send my love and positive energy to all the people that have been displaced, to the land that has, um, that has suffered, and to the air that the wind may blow um, in new energy, bring in energy of change and positivity, and take out all the negative energy, all the fear, all the trauma, all the loss that our country has suffered, and to take it out with the wind and to dissipate that energy, replacing it with plenty of positive energy. Let's join in in solidarity for the Filipino people who are resilient, who are positive despite what's happening, who are going about their lives um, as normal, and who are you know, moving forward with strength and courage. Thank you for watching, thank you for listening, and see you soon on the next episode.